In this video, we are overclocking the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D processor all the way up to 5.4 GHz using the Asus ROG Crosshair X670E Hero motherboard and EK Quantum Custom Loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy these settings and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock the Ryzen 7 7800X3D, have a look at the longer Scatterbencher version that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, enter the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to Expo 1. That will make the memory run at our Expo rated frequency of DDR5 6400 and associated memory timings. Expo 1 will load only the primary timings and have the motherboard tune the secondary timings. Set e clock mode to asynchronous mode. This enables an external clock generator to drive the CPU frequency. Ryzen 7000 has three clock generator modes, internal, external synchronous, and external asynchronous. In external asynchronous mode, there are two external 100 MHz clock generators. One is used exclusively for the CPU core frequency and the other one for the other parts inside the CPU. Using a synchronous e-clock is the only way to increase the maximum frequency of a Ryzen 7000 X3D processor as the Precision Boost Overdrive IFMAX Boost Override tool doesn't work. Set BCLK2 frequency to 107. That will increase our Precision Boost algorithm frequencies by 7%. In our case, the maximum boost frequency ceiling increases from 5050 MHz to 5403 MHz. Set memory frequency to DDR5-6200. While our memory kit is rated at DDR5-6400, unfortunately our CPU cannot run that frequency. By enabling Expo we still benefit from the improved memory timings. Enter the Precision Boost Overdrive submenu. Here we can use the overclocking tools to increase the power, current and frequency headroom of the Precision Boost 2 boost algorithm. Set Precision Boost Overdrive to Enabled. This adjusts the PBO platform parameters, PPT, TDC, and EDC, according to the motherboard order rules. On this motherboard, we find that the following values have changed. Enter the Curve Optimizer submenu and set Curve Optimizer to per core. Here's where the real magic happens as Curve Optimizer allows us to fine-tune the VFT curve for each core in a negative or positive direction. Setting a negative offset means the CPU will use less voltage for a given frequency and boost to a higher frequency at a specific voltage. Setting a positive offset means the CPU will use more voltage for a given frequency and boost to a lower frequency at a particular voltage. Note that the curve optimizer settings are highly CPU specific, so you should find the best values for your CPU rather than copying mine. Set Core 1 and Core 3 curve optimizer signed to positive. Set Core 1 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 5. Set Core 3 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 10. Set Core 6 Curve Optimizer Sign to negative. Set Core 6 Curve Optimizer Magnitude to 5. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 10.71% in Geekbench 6 Multi. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5403 MHz. When running Prime95, small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU effective clock is 4855 MHz with 1.001 volts. The average CPU temperature is 86.9 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26.5 and 31.8 degrees Celsius. The average CPU package power is 94.4 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the patrons for their support and see you next time.